Hi everyone, I'm Dasha Dashkina, the Senior Product Manager here at GitLab for Editor Extensions, and happy to announce the release of Duo Quick Chat in JetBrains and in VS Code. Please check our documentation for any specifics, but here I'm going to show off some of the basics of Duo Quick Chat. So first off, you can invoke Duo Quick Chat by using Alt C, which I'll show you in just a minute. Uh, but you can also invoke Duo Quick Chat by right-clicking and using one of the menu items. Here you can see we have GitLab Duo Chat right here, and then you can open up Quick Chat through Alt C. So let's take a look at the code that I'm working with, which is just this test HTML file, but I want to make a few changes. So here I want to change it from my simple web page to DevTools, which is the name of my web page. Alt C will open up Duo Quick Chat. You have access to all of the actions that you're already familiar with from the Duo chat panel, but let's say I'm going to give it a command to change. So instead of to DevTools. Here, Duo Chat will provide you with an answer. So first, it'll recognize what is it that we're changing, and then it'll recommend some code. Now, that's great, but then what can I do with that code? Here, you can see the changes that are being made. You can see DevTools exactly represented the way that I want to. I have the welcome DevTools, and I have DevTools in my header. So. That looks exactly what I want to do. I can insert the snippet of code or I can copy it. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and insert this code snippet. I'm happy with the changes. Perfect. I can see DevTools now being reflected. You can have a multi turn conversation within Do a Quick Chat, meaning that you can ask follow up questions or even float around and ask questions around different aspects of your code or code base. So here, I'm going to click on close, but let's say I want to ask another question. I can invoke to a quick chat, and by highlighting, it actually tells you which lines we're referencing as context. So let's say you want to ask a question about these actual lines of code, and you can see that we are referencing 20 to 35. We'd love to hear your feedback. We do have a give feedback URL here. Please let us know what you like and what you don't like. Now let's switch. Here, I'm going to press escape or click to close and let's switch to VS Code. Now in VS Code, we went for a more native implementation. With integrations, we wanna make sure they still feel like the IDE that you're working in. So here I have some CSS that I'm looking at and I'm particularly interested more around this accessibility. So if I'm going to take a look specifically around dark mode, I want to ask if there's any accessibility improvements that we can make. Now you want to use Alt C again to open up to a quick chat. It gives you the lines that it's referencing. So here it's 93 to 117. And then you can always click send or press command enter. Duo chat will give you an answer based on your question and here we have some suggestions based on how we can have some additional CSS properties for enhanced accessibility. You can do follow-up questions as well and we do have some fine-tuned improvements coming our way where you'll be able to directly insert and copy code snippets into VS Code. So stay tuned and we love hearing your feedback and really excited to share this functionality with you. Thanks so much for listening and hope you get to try out Duo Quick Chat.